Here we're asked to graph these two inequalities. So we'll do this by hand, and I'll just show on the graphing calculator how this works. First thing I would do is set up my axes here. So I've got my y-axis and x-axis. Okay. And then let's graph the first one. y is greater than negative x plus 2. Think of mx plus b. The plus 2 here is the y-intercept. So we have plus 2, right, 1, 2. And then negative x, that, that means the slope is negative 1, or you can think of that as negative 1 over 1. This number up here refers to the delta y. This number here refers to delta x, or changes in y and change in x. So from standing here at, at 2, I can go down 1 over 1, right? Down y, down 1 on the y-axis, up 1 on the x, and so forth, right? Down 1 over 1. So we get this line right here. Except the line, it, we're told that y is greater than this, this really, than negative x plus 2, not equal to. So we draw a dotted line through these points. Sorry, you would have a ruler there. And you would shade the region above it. So this is the one region we're looking at here. The other region, y is less than or equal to 2 thirds x plus 5. Well, again, plus 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here's your y intercept. And 2 thirds, well, your slope is 2 thirds, so that means you go up 2 over 3, right? Or you can think of it as down 2, back 3. Down 2, back 3. Oops, back 3. Okay, so, get that right? Yep. So y is less than or equal to. So now we shade this line in, because it's less than or equal to. So we can include the line, and we're shading below this region here, right? Everything below it. and label the solution set S. Well, the solution set S is where these two lines cross. So you, can, you wouldn't be coloring it in. I'll, I'll go to color it in for you because I have color available. But what you could do is just write in this region, say, oh, this is the solution set S. On a graphing calculator, you can do this pretty quickly as well if you're feeling overwhelmed by graphing whatever line you're given. Just click your Y equals button here. And I already set it up so it's in the correct mode, but you can scroll over to the left and toggle through these different graph options by pressing enter. And what you might notice is as you toggle, there's scat scatter plots and different things and lines, but um, here we can, this blinking region is shading above the line to the upper triangle. And then if you click it again, it goes below the uh, line for less than or equal to. So we can't, I don't think we can do less than. Uh, in other words, I don't think we can dot the line versus shading it in. Uh, I could be wrong on that, um, but, but this is what we have to work with. So this will be the less than 2 thirds x plus 5. So in parentheses, 2 thirds, 2 over 3, x button plus 5, and the second, it's greater than, oops, okay, y is greater than negative x plus 2, enter. So if we graph these two, you'll see, right, you can zoom in the shaded region as well. It's good practice in the graphic calculator.